bestie, grab your calculators because today we're diving into the basic formula method when it comes to dosage calculations. Let's get started. As we've discussed, there are three ways to solve dosage calculations. You've got your formula method, which is what we're going to be discussing today, the ratio and proportion method, and dimensional analysis. So let's cover how we use equations using the formula method. So just like with our other fabulous calculation methods, the basic formula method also comes with its own lineup. So we're starting with D, which stands for desired. So this is what the provider wants the patient to get. Next up, we have our H, which stands for have. And this is what you physically have in your hand, what's printed on the label of the medication bottle. And then we have V or Q, depending on the school that you go to, they use them interchangeably, but it just stands for the vehicle or the quantity. This is the form that the drug is available in. It could be a tablet, it could be MLs, it could be a glitterly infused gummy, just whatever the medication is available in. Now here's the formula that we use to calculate our dosage calculation magic. It's desired over have multiplied by our quantity. Now that we've met all the players, let's plug them into scenarios to see how we calculate using this method. So let's take a look at our first practice question. So the order states that we need to provide metoprolol 100 milligrams PO twice daily for blood pressure. And it's available in metoprolol 50 milligrams per tablet. So the first thing we want to look at is our desired dose. So how much do we want to provide this individual? We want to give them 100 milligrams. Next up, what do we have available to us? Well, we know that we have 50 milligrams because that's what it says on the medication bottle. And lastly, what is the vehicle or the quantity? In this case, we know that 50 milligrams is available in each tablet. So now we're just gonna plug in our numbers. We're gonna put 100 milligrams, that's our desired dose, over our 50 milligrams, which is what we have, multiplied by our vehicle or quantity, which is one tablet. Now we're just gonna do a little handy dandy math. We've got 100 milligrams divided by 50 multiplied by one is going to give us our correct answer of two tablets. This is my favorite equation to use when I'm not having to do any kind of conversions and I need to get an answer really quickly. Let's take a look at our next practice question. We have an order for furosemide, 80 milligrams IV push once a day for heart failure. And we know that the medication is available in 40 milligrams per four mLs. So let's figure out how much we're going to give. Number one, what is the desired dose? What's the ordered dose? We know that the ordered dose is 80 milligrams. Next up, what do we have available? What is on the medication bottle? We know that the medication is available in 40 milligrams. And what's our vehicle or our quantity in this situation? We know that 40 milligrams is available in every four mLs. Now we're going to start plugging in. So I'm going to put my 80 milligrams, that's our desired dose on the top. I'm going to put 40 milligrams, that's what we have available to us on the bottom. And then what is our vehicle or quantity? We know it's available in four mLs. Now we're going to do a little handy dandy calculator magic. We have 80 divided by 40 multiplied by four is going to give us our correct answer of eight mLs. Now let's take a closer look at our final practice question. So the order states that we need to give cyanobalamin 300 micrograms IM once per day for B12 deficiency. It's available in a thousand micrograms per one ml. So what is our desired dose? We know that we want to give 300 micrograms for this dose. What do we have available to us? We have a thousand micrograms available because that's what's written on our bottle. And what's the vehicle or the quantity for this medication availability? We know that it is available for every ml. Now we're just going to plug in our numbers. We're going to put our 300 micrograms on top. That's our desired dose. A thousand micrograms on the bottom. That's what we have and our one ml in our vehicle or quantity spot. Now we're just going to do a little calculator magic. We have 300 divided by 1000 multiplied by one is going to give us our correct answer 0 0.3 
MLs. And boom, just like that, you have slayed the basic formula method. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you are notified anytime we go live or post a video. Drop a comment or question down below. I love answering your questions. Head over to nursechunkstore.com where we have a ton of goodies when it comes to dosage calculations. And as always, I'm gonna catch you in the next video.